right. Hey, welcome back. Let's get into a bunker update and a little bit of science and to scare you, you know, and terrify you about bread. Let's go to the lab and find out. Right, right, bu bubbling cauldrons and things and stuff. <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's happy stuff. I have to keep reminding myself that there's new viewers coming in all the time going, what is this channel? Real quick, I do a lot of baking in a bread machine or what I call a bread oven, all right? And what we're going to talk about uh, right now is a different kind of bread. Right? If you followed my, my stuff or somebody else's or whatever, you talk about a thing called crumb. Right? Now, here's two different cr uh, crumbs I just did recently. Now, here we have a half slice of uh, what's called, in the, they call it sandwich bread. Now, notice the crumb, very uh, uniform all around by the crust, and not very many bubbles. So it's it's more of a you know white bread you can get in the store you know it has that more flesh to it less bubbles right so you're in the you know bubbling cauldron and stuff I made the sandwich uh, bread that you just saw but I added one teaspoon more of salt so instead of one teaspoon it has two in it. It's called science, right? A little more of this, a little less of that. What kills it? What makes it be fed? Right? Magic. It's 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 very good. Now here you have a loaf done. Same recipe, same amount of water, same amount of everything, but one little bit more salt. Now notice there's no dome on this. It's flat. I found that's kind of this normal. Now here's here's the loaf out of the pan, right? And then it goes right into close up to uh, you know, so it's it's this is a normal look I get for my French bread. All right, I had a comment. How come you don't do videos? This is, this is just my thing. It's 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 okay. It works this way. So now let's look at the crust. For new viewers, I use a toaster a lot. I got a new Sunbeam Alpine crappy 1000 thing. It's pretty good. But I like a good firm crust, but I like a pale crust because when I toast it, oh, it's, it's marvelous. So let's hack on this thing. Now, basically what I did is I, I kind of leveled up the top of it. You know, I got this piece of... You know, f petrified, crusty stuff. Very tasty, though. But uh, now let's take an up, up close look. Now here's a up close look. The crumb. So it's it's you know very deceiving. Uh, so right after I mangle it here, <laughs> uh, we'll we'll take another up close view. But it's it's a decent bread. You know, would you eat that? Yeah, right. Now after using my method of splitting. And then cutting, right? I get all this bread here for, you know, a dollar, maybe. What is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, half slices. Put two of these together, that's a whole big slice. But, right now, let's take a look at the crumb on this. Now, this, this is what you get when you add that little teaspoon more of salt, right? And when you add honey, it does stuff. When you add a little less water, it does stuff. It's very nice. But let's take a look at the crumb on this. It's more of a, <clears throat> like a ba uh, uh, English muffin kind of texture. It's, it's got more bubbles, right, compared to this. Now, since I do my loaves, you know, one at a time, artisan style, right, or whatever, I don't know what you're going to come up with. But, uh, you know, see the crumb difference? Right, one's got a little bit more holes in it than the other one does. I could have went a little bit more salt, but again, salt kills the yeast, so I may have killed the whole loaf too. So you know, it's it's tricky, but yet it's not. You know, it's a, it's a never fear thing. No matter what kind of bread you make after you get the bakes this down, 
it's edible. You just don't know how, you know, how yummy, whatever. It's still going to be bread, right? But very nice. Now let's do something with this bread. Now here in the lab, we are uh, testing the new Proctor Silex uh, double wide, double deep toaster with the cancel button. So uh, we're going we're to try that with this, uh, with this bubbly bread. Now here on the bench, I have two nicely toasted uh, pieces of this bread. And I had some uh, chili and uh, Rotel mix you know, in the fridge. So I put some bean dip, right? Refried beans or whatever on this uh, toast. Didn't want to make it garlic toast. Just so this wanted to try out the, the, the taste. Now, is that for a snack, right? Chili toast. <laughs> Why not? And it's, it's, it's uh, garlicky bread. Not garlicky, but that, that style, right? French bread. Now, here's a close up. Right, call it an American version or something of a taco. I don't know. But it's really good. Now, what I learned when I uh, was learning to make mayonnaise and whatnot, the reason why you put mayonnaise on the sandwich, right, before all the other crap, is to keep the juices and stuff from penetrating down and ruining the bread. So it's like a layer of layer of protectivity there. It's like a condom for the bread, right? So I put the bean stuff on out of the refrigerator so it was yummy cold. Spooned it on, then hit it with this liquid chili. Oh, dynamite, right? Nice. Right, you got Captain Obvious, right? Those people. I would need that. Well, you have a bowl of chili and you have a piece of toast on the side and you eat, you know, a spoonful of chili and you take a bite of stuff. It's the same, same kind of thing, dude. Right? Well, I wouldn't eat that. But anyway. Again, this is just how I eat. I just look in the refrigerator, right, freezer, whatever. Maybe pick something up on Safari, right, do a little, little you know, magic with it. <laughs> and create madness. Now, like, I had this bowl of chili stuff. So later on in the day, I made a ramen noodle, right, drained the noodle. So it's dry noodles now. And mixed a little bit with the chili. I'm like, well, why not? Man, it was fine. You know? <laughs> How did I do? I did, I did really good. You know? It didn't taste that bad. The crispiness of the, of the new loaf, excellent. Can't wait to try it with some garlic and stuff. Uh, maybe toast some garlic and put it as, as a spread. I don't, I don't know. But, hey, thanks. Leave a thumbs up. Enjoy the deal. You know what to do. <laughs> Have a great day.